guys, this is Emmy back in the Jerry's studio. Uh, I was organizing around here and I just quickly wanted to talk to you about our color diaries. Now, I know I'm a bit on the extreme end of the spectrum where I have so many of these and it, like I burn through these because I'm always constantly painting for, you know, all of our videos that we do or the Jerry's live shows and I end up with so many swatch pages, which is amazing. We should be swatching our materials. So I wanted to figure out a situation where we could put these and organize them before it got out of hand. So I wanted to introduce you to our Painter's Color Diary binders. Now these are my new favorite thing in the world. You can organize your sheets in any which way that is best for you. Uh, I've actually organized them in several different ways, depending on how we work here around the studio. So in this binder in particular, I have them organized by color family. So all of my yellows are together, all of my oranges, all of my reds. So if I'm looking for a very specific color, I can find it immediately because all of my yellows are together. So if I'm looking for that fluorescent yellow, I can look between the, the ones that I have and I know which one I personally want to use. Now, the other binder I have here is organized by palettes. Now this one is a lot fuller because this is t how I tend to work on an everyday basis. Uh, specifically, this one right here uh, on the top is my great white shark painting. This is something that I did here in Jerry's studio uh, for you guys to see our great white oil paint that we were coming out with. And uh, these were the palettes that I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to use. And so now I know which ones I happen to use in that painting if I ever need to touch it up or if I sell them, I can then move this to a sold binder and I can keep track of what I've used. So when I did organize these color palettes, I actually separated them by media and I actually just tagged a little post-it down on the bottom. Uh, and I attach it to the glycine sheets because I didn't want to have it stuck to my actual, you know, palette swatches. Uh, but that way I can move them around, I can add to it. Uh, if I get too many, then I can just take out the whole chunk, like all of my oils can go to a new binder. And then it can shift around and continue to grow with me as an artist. Now speaking of glycine, now I know that the original books come with the glycine sheets, but they don't come out. So we actually came out with the interleaving sheet refills, uh, same size as it's been uh, for the full size sheets. And you know, you get a pack of 50. So 50 swatch pages, you can just pop these right in just like you would the sheets. And then you can keep them nice and protected and they won't stick to each other. So this is a very sturdy box. It is archival, so you don't have to worry about your swatches lasting over time or what's gonna happen to them. Uh, but then on top of that, it can hold 40 sheets, no matter if it's the regular size or the travel size. And then it has this really lovely labeling system on the outside, so if you were to stack this up on your shelves, not only can you find immediately the one that you're looking for, but it also looks really nice. Besides that, we do have a really satisfying magnetic closure on the other side. So it snaps itself shut and it holds itself shut to where you don't have to worry about it flopping open. So the beautiful thing with this color diary binder is that this right here shifts with it. So it will lay flat. So let me quickly show you how to put in a sheet into the binder. This is just one of the travel sets that I had created uh, for a video. All you, you literally just pop it right out of there. So when you go to put in a sheet, all you have to do is line it up wherever you want it to be and then pop in the little tabs. Then take a glycine sheet because the ones in the diary are not removable and then pop that right on top and now it's nice and protected. So I really wish I had this when the Painter's Color Diary first came out because it took me a whole day to organize my swatches. Again, I have so many. So grab your own Painter's Color Diary binder and have you organizing.